this just flat out stinks. Literally, when we pulled up on the pond, I was like, oh my gosh, that smells like fish. Like, not your normal smell from a pond. I am honestly really worried about the bison putting them in this pasture. This was their next pasture to be rotated in. It's bass right there. <sighs> Dang it. Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. Hey, guess what? It's hay season. First, Bill. Oh boy, you're gonna be okay. Look who's with us. Jackie made the trip, and Bullet and Marissa. We just dropped Brooksy off with uh, Uncle Daniel and Aunt Sissy, which is DJ, my sister. Um, Marissa and I are hauling hay. First load right here. We just picked up off of our neighbor's place, right next to the Ponderosa. But we are at the original place where it all started for us, Mom and Kevin's place, the Lynch property. Here we are. We've got some bison bulls over here. This hay is for some of the animals over here, including Mr. Dunbar himself. So we're going to roll these off real quick. Wife and I are having a date night of uh, hauling hay, right? How many of you have been down that road before, right? Yeah, we've been there. It's hay season. Uh, you just right over there. You can get behind the truck. We're gonna undo this here. This is my neighbor's hay hauler and it is just the most awesome thing. You've probably seen it in some of my videos. Coming out hot, everything clear? So we got eight bells right here. Push this and release. And there it goes. Well, that's the first one. We got eight here. We gotta get a, quite a bit of them. Hey Jackie, Jackie's rolling with us. She's loving it. She never gets to go. Well, it always gets to go. We were out there hauling hay because we were right next to the field. I was scooping up on the skid steer and Marissa's driving and uh, Jackie came over from the, our property, the Ponderosa, and she was gonna follow us out. So we threw her in the truck and she's loving it. She's loving it, so. All right, first one's done. So after hauling a couple loads, Marissa and I got back to the ranch, realized we hadn't done a herd check, ran out, checked the Big Joe herd, gave precious Eleanor her cubes, got her taken care of, and then we were kind of coming back through and we were about to go work on some fence and we saw several things from a distance floating in the pond and had to come take a look. Dang it. Saw a couple of white things in the pond and we've got dead fish we're running into the same problem daniel from arms family homestead brother-in-law just ran into his awesome pond that he has he lost some big fish in it and i had a feeling this was going to happen because i saw the red algae on the this pond about five days ago, but I wasn't sure how many fish were in here. Definitely some decent sized bass. This pond almost went completely dry two summers ago. Two summers ago. That's a shame. Dang it. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight out in the middle. Um, I 
That's a nice bass right there. I know you guys can't tell in the picture, but. So Marissa and I just pulled uh, down here on my way to, uh, we were on our way to work on some fence. So we don't have Brooks. Um, and uh, I saw some white things sticking out of our pond and I was like, oh, that's not good. About five days ago, Marissa and I noticed, um, uh, about five days ago, Marissa and I noticed red algae. And I, I don't know a lot about ponds um, as far as owning a pond uh, and herbicides and plant life and algae. But we've had, uh, we've had a lot of hot days and no rain no fresh water and uh i saw the red algae coming up i, I would, what i thought was red algae and i knew it was, wasn't good and i honestly don't know what to do when that happens um this is our first property and so now we're learning these things when you're forced to when it's forced you right here and i don't know if there's anything you can do when you see red algae uh but this is frustrating because I wasn't sure if there was any fish in this pond because I used to fish this pond when I was a kid way, way long time ago. And these were really good ponds, but this one almost went completely dry two summers ago in our extreme droughts we had two summers in a row. And I see some decent sized bass in here, one or two pound bass. And that is frustrating. Brooks would have loved to have caught some of these fish. I mean, that's a that's a two pound that's a pound and a half bass right there. I know it doesn't look like it to you, but that's about a pound and a half bass. Probably swelling up some. I see a mouth of one right there. That's a decent size. I'm kind of walking through here carefully because I know that the snakes will be out. Um, probably trying to eat on the eat on some of these fish, but this is unfortunate. It may sink a little bit. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of baby fish. Yeah, another pound and a half fi pound fish. Pound and a half maybe right there. Dang it. This is frustrating. And I'm assuming it gets them all. And I know my brother-in-law, Daniel, just went through this. And, and his he has an awesome pond. And I know he's put a lot of time and effort and some money into that pond. And I guess, you know, sometimes stuff happens. The weather, you, you obviously can't control it. We've had the high temperatures and no rain and stuff like this occurs. And you guys let us know. If you have any ideas or been through this before, let us know. I want to, if I see this again, our, 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 our summers are very, are hot. And typically July and August are pretty miserable and dry and no rain. So... I don't want to go through this again. These are fish that we could have consumed, you know, catch, clean, cook situations with Brooks right here at the Ponderosa. I mean, our barn is right up there. And um, we're, Marissa and I are getting ready to put the bison in here. And now I'm worried about this pond. What are we going to do now? Um, can they come in here and drink this? Are we, is it going to, is there a chance of hurting the bison? I don't know. I have no clue. Um, I had to take them out of this pasture a couple years ago when the water got so low, it looked stagnant and nasty. I had to take them completely out and we were watering them from the Ponderosa using our real water. So, um, I saw that condition then, but I can't believe these fish have made it that long. Um, there were some decent sized fish that made it in here. So this just flat out stinks. Um, literally when we pulled up on the pond, I was like, oh my gosh, that smells like fish. Like not your normal smell from a pond, but I see a bunch of baby fish in here. It's dead. This sucks. I am honestly really worried about the bison putting them in this pasture. This was their next pasture to be rotated in. And I'm honestly worried about rotating them in here. We've got a lot of grass. This has had a lot of recovery time. Oh, there's a snake. Ugh. I see one right there. There's a snake. Ugh, there he goes. Yeah. Jackie scared him. Jackie, did you find some frogs? Yeah, 
I see some dead fish. That's probably what those snakes were on. Yuck. Well, Marissa and I, anyways, we were gonna, this time of the year, because we know that these ponds can have issues. I'm looking down, so I'm sorry I'm not looking at you. I'm walking and making sure there's no critters. I'm not a huge fan of snakes. Um, I hate seeing those bass like that. This is the first time this has happened to us. It happened to me. I've actually seen it. So, um, but I'm worried about putting the bison here. But Marissa and I, we're going to put a water tank up here because we know these ponds can get. When I first saw the growth on this pond, I was like, okay, we may need to bring our big water tank over here, which is in the hay meadow. We need to bring it over here and uh, set it up because the algae on the pond concerned me a little bit, but now I'm really concerned with the dead fish, obviously. So, <sighs> dang it. Not sure how we're gonna handle the fish in the pond. Obviously can't rotate the big Joe herd in here now. That's going to be an ongoing uh, topic here in the next couple of days. Um, for now, Marissa and I are going to go work on some of our hot wire fence, which is a huge project that we've been working on. I spent a lot of time on. That's a whole nother story, guys. We'll bring that to you soon, let you know what we're doing with the hot wire, and we'll keep you updated on the fish pond issue and rotating our animals in there. Thank you guys for watching us. See you soon. We'll keep on bison ranching.